So I want to address an issue that's become relatively uh, controversial recently, and that has to do with uh, biological sex, and in particular, how that uh, relates to humans and how many biological sexes are there as it relates to humans. Now, to answer that question, the first thing you want to ask is what is the sexual reproductive system for, right? And so the sexual reproductive system is for the production of new life. And to do that, there are two gametes that have to be produced. You have to produce the sperm and the ova, the sperm and the egg. And so there are two biological sexes. There's the biological sex that normally functions to produce sperm. And then there's the other biological sex, female, that normally functions to produce the ova or the egg. And when the sperm and the egg come together, you can produce new life. Now there is no um, other sort of gamete that's normally produced. There isn't a third gamete that's used during um, a sexual reproduction. There's sperm and the egg with humans. Um, and so those are the only two biological sexes. There isn't a third, a fourth, or a fifth, because uh, there isn't another type of gamete that's gonna be produced by the sexual reproductive system that's actually going to be functional, that's going to be used for reproduction. Now, of course, there are, because biology is messy, there are many cases of uh, what we call intersex individuals, people that have either a mix of traits. Um, they, you know, for example, they might be genetically be female, but biologically they have certain appearances or genitalia that make them look male or you have individuals that are not fully formed uh, genitalia of, um, of, of the male genitalia or the female genitalia. You have these different intersex con uh, conditions. For example, you have a Klinefelter syndrome where people have XXY. And so uh, they develop, normally um, they develop as if they're male, but they're going to be infertile. And so they might develop breasts. And so they have sort of a, these hybrid uh, sort of intersex um, conditions. Um, you have uh, individuals um, that are androgen insensitive, um, so they're X, Y, so they're genetically male, but they um, don't respond properly to the sex hormones or testosterone, and so they don't develop normal functioning um, male reproductive uh, organs and uh, gametes. So you have these conditions, also known as sort of disorders or differences in sexual development, where instead of developing properly, on the, the male lineage or on the female lineage, they don't get uh, developed properly or you get uh, some sort of hybrid uh, type of uh, development. But those, while you know, those individuals need to be treated with respect and dignity and, and, uh, and so forth, are not a third biological sex or a fourth biological sex because there's not another type of gamete, uh, biologically speaking, that they're producing. They're still just the functional sperm and the functional egg. And interestingly, most people that have intersex conditions um, live their lives as male or as female um, and uh, are, are, are quite comfortable as being either male or, or female. Now, of course, there are some uh, cases where you know, it's, it's often difficult to tell and so forth, and those individuals clearly need to be treated with respect and dignity um, um, and, and treated appropriately. But it is not the case where that is a, another biological sex, because again, to summarize, they're not producing a third gamete. There is no third gamete. There's sperm and there's egg. And those are the two gametes that are functional in the sexual reproductive system. And so you have two distinct sexes, even though you do have many, in some cases, disorders of that development. Mm -hmm.